Let's get started in setting up pay later messaging in BigCommerce. In the home page, we want to go to the left menu, go to store setup, and then payments. Once you get to the payment section, click on the tab of your payments provider. I have two examples to show if you use Braintree or PayPal. The quicker one is PayPal, so let's start with that. Click on PayPal settings. If you scroll down, there's going to be a section with a checkbox that says enable pay later messaging. Go ahead and enable that. This next part is very important. As soon as I enabled this bigger checkbox, you notice that three smaller checkboxes appeared, one for the cart page, home page, or product price section. Big Commerce is telling us where we can automatically place these pay later messaging based on the options that Big Commerce has detected is available. So if you get all three, that's great. You may get two or one. That's solely based on what Big Commerce allows based on your theme or your template. To find out more detailed information on this, you can click on find out more here. For now, let's go ahead and enable all three. At the bottom right, we can hit save. Great, it's saved now. Let's go to the website and I'll show you where those banners were added. So this is the home page. I'm just going to refresh. Here is where the first banner was added. You can go ahead and click on it anywhere in the banner to see if it works. Looks to be working just fine. We can exit this. Now in the product page, here is a product. Let me refresh the page. As you can see, it dynamically rendered the appropriate pay in for amount here. You can click on this as well. And it's working just fine. And this time it has these specific amounts. Let's go ahead and add it to the cart and look at the last section, which is the view cart page. Go ahead and click on view or edit your cart. Let's go ahead and scroll down. As you can see, there's the other banner. It looks slightly different. It's just a different style that BigCommerce added on this page. As you can see, after I added the product, now there are two products in the cart. So the amount updated as well as it updated on this pay in for offering. If we click on it, you will see there are different amounts now. And this will dynamically update as you add things to the cart. You have now successfully enabled pay later messaging. If you have PayPal integrated into BigCommerce, you can stop the video here. Otherwise, if you have PayPal enabled through Braintree in BigCommerce, let's go ahead and look at those steps. Moving back to the payment section on the left menu, we can click on payments. Now I'm going to click on Braintree settings. Let's scroll down and now you'll see the pay later messaging section. In order for this to work, we have to go ahead and click on authorize PayPal to display messaging. You will see a pop up. Go ahead and put your PayPal business email address, go through the regular prompts of logging in and you will get to this page. Then just click agree and connect. And it may be easy to miss on this page, but we want to scroll down to this button that says back to big commerce. Go ahead and click on that to go back. Now that this page is loaded, let's scroll down. You will see the same section, pay later messaging. And once again, we want to enable all three or whichever ones you prefer for your website. And again, if you don't see any of them or you see less than three, speak to your big commerce representative about this because most likely it's not allowed in this template or the styling. And if you want to find out more, you can click on this link. Go ahead and hit save at the bottom right. And it's saved. And we can go back to the website. The messaging will look the same for Braintree, just as it did for PayPal. We have now successfully enabled pay later messaging in BigCommerce.